Hey guys, welcome back to Murad on Run. We are continuing with our top five universities of Dubai series. We're just coming out of Al Khel University, and we will be going to the number one university of Dubai. Number one according to QS rankings. Since the past five years, it has been number one, and yeah, it's actually a very good university. And I would want you guys to first of all see this university. It looks like White House, exactly like White House. We're outside American University of Dubai. I've got the brochures from the admissions team, and we will be talking about the admission requirement. We will be talking about the placements that you get from American University of Dubai. And honestly, guys, if you're planning to come to Dubai, these are the five universities that you should be going to. We've already covered this series. You can check that out from the link in description. The entire series. It's way too hot. I think I'll record this video. Right here in the shade, American University of Dubai. Let's get started. Okay, so we are recording from outside American University of Dubai, which actually looks like White House. Now, first, let's talk about the placements that you get from this placements. Yes. So there is no placement committee, as we talked about in the University of Canada video, that there are no placements here in Dubai. But there are placement committees which help you in getting placements. Now, what are the average placements that you get from here? The average numbers are present nowhere. But I talked to students from American University. They told me that you can expect a salary from somewhere around forty thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars. Now you would be wondering, okay, this is not a lot, right? Forty to fifty thousand dollars for a graduate student. But then this is forty to fifty thousand dollars in Dubai, which is tax free. So considering it is tax free, it means that it is thirty to forty percent more than what you will be earning in United States or any other country. So the point is, if you earn hundred rupees in United States and pay thirty to forty percent tax there, so you're left with somewhere around seventy to sixty rupees. But here in Dubai, you do not have to pay any taxes, which is a good thing. Apart from that, the other thing that you need to know: the lowest salaries from American University of Dubai is. Twenty-seven thousand dollars, which loosely translates to somewhere around sixteen to seventeen lakh Indian rupees. Even in that, the living expenses here in Dubai are seven to eight lakh rupees if you're living very frugally, which means you will be saving somewhere around ten lakh Indian rupees. Still good, but one thing I absolutely did not like about the university is the cost. Oh God, where is that tuition fees? Now the tuition fees is absolutely berserk. Let me do one thing. Let me give you a tour of the university, and in that tour, let me talk about the tuition fees as well. So this is the west wing of our White House. I mean the university, and let's start from here and cover the tuition fees. So if you're planning to come for an executive masters in business administration, the tuition fees is two lakh twenty five thousand AED, which is somewhere around forty five lakh rupees. So, getting a business administration degree, an MBA in business administration, would cost you somewhere around forty-five lakh rupees. So, what are the benefits that you get? As we talked about, the salaries that you can make are somewhere. It can go up till sixty lakh as well. So, you can recover your entire cost in one year also. But majority of the times, that's not possible. It would take you two years to recover your cost for an average student. Does everyone get placements here? Actually, not. Why? Because As other universities in Dubai, getting into these universities is not that tough. Getting into universities in Dubai is comparatively very easy. If you have the bucks, you'll get into the university. So what happens because of that? Because of that, the number of students and the quality of students that come to these universities are not that great. Ideally, the average class size is good because when I talk about the admission requirements as well, the SAT scores that they require. For a graduate student, for undergraduate students, that's just five twenty, a five twenty on SAT maths, which is not a lot. So ideally, many students end up in these universities, and that is why the placement records actually get broke, and that is why they do not publish their placements records. But still, it is a good university. If we talk about Dubai, it's amongst the top five universities and definitely the best university in Dubai. Okay, so an executive MBA was for forty-five lakh rupees. Now, what about a normal MBA? It says that the normal MBA is for twelve thousand nine hundred AED per course, and there are twelve courses that you have to select in the entire duration. So, if we say we can say that it's twenty-two point six lakh rupees per course, and you have to select twelve courses, so that's again somewhere around 
2.26 into 12. Okay, you'll see the maths over here. But I was trying to do all the math here and I was like, it's already too hot. And yeah, this is the west wing of the university. It's not that big of a university, but then it's located at a very, very prime location. So you have Dubai Marina from this side and you have your Burj Khalifa from this side. It's like, the location is absolutely amazing. Unlike the other universities of Dubai, only Canadian University has a better location. Rest of the universities are located in Knowledge Park, which is very far from the city of Dubai. I mean, sorry, it's not that far, but then for every time you would want to come back to Dubai city, you will have to pay the taxi cab driver somewhere around 2000 Indian rupees, which is a lot for me. Okay, now we're on the west side of this university and what do we have to cover? Admission requirements. Let's cover the admission requirements. But first I would want something to eat. Either Starbucks or McDonald's. And I feel like I asked the security guy. I had to close my camera at that point. So I asked him where is the McDonald's. He said there is a McDonald's. There is no Starbucks here. And he told me that it's somewhere there. But I cannot see it. Oh, somewhere there. Okay, let's see. Let's first get something to eat and then continue with the recording. Okay, now we're at the back side of the university. We're all fresh. We've eaten well. I sat there for like 30 minutes. It's way too hot. It's 40 degrees right now here. But then I was like, okay, let's continue with our vlog. Let's complete our vlog. And then we will go to a different university and start recording there. Most probably tomorrow because today I am done. I cannot record any other videos and I cannot even give any of my classes today. Anyhow, now American University. Let's talk about the pros and cons of studying in American University. This, this, this building is American University. So let's talk about the pros and cons of studying in American University. Okay, let's talk about a few pros and cons of studying in American University. The first biggest pro that American University has is that the faculty here is the best. Amongst all the colleges of Dubai, American University has the best faculty. American University of Dubai is multicultural. Now you will have people studying from 102 countries in this university. But the male to female ratio of this college is actually messed up. You will have seven guys for every three girls. So 70% of the population, 70% of the students are male in this university. Another big con is the dorm services. It is very, very expensive. The dorm services here are equivalent to cost of living in London. Yes, it's very expensive. Ideally, it is not recommended to anyone to take the dorm services of American University. Extremely expensive. What you can do is there are many, many, plenty of places to live around. Even if you end up living in Marina, which is the most expensive, JBR Marina, which is the most expensive area of Dubai, it will still be cheaper than living in a dorm of American University. Another pro of studying in American University is that the placements have started to improve. What do I mean by that? Back in 2014-2015, it used to place 89% of the students who were eligible for placement. Then that improved till 90%, 92%. It can, you can see the chart over here, right? So it came down also the table. It came down, it was somewhere around 85-86% because of the bad time Dubai was going through. But now it's again around 91-92%, and 92%, which is actually good. But there is a catch over here. Not everyone is considered for this. Only the top students who end up clearing an exam, they have a placement exam, only those students are considered in this statistics. Another con is if you're planning to come for a research-oriented course, do not come to American University. It's not a good choice. The research quality, I've talked to students, they did not like the research work here. If you're planning to come for an MBA, it would be approximately of the same price as that of in India. So yes, MBA might make sense, but then why do you want to come to American University if you could get into a good university in India? That's the first thing. And you can also look for other countries. If, if and only if you do not have the budget, you still want to go abroad, then American University is a university that you should be applying for because getting into it is not difficult. That is something I've been telling you all throughout this video. One thing we have to cover is the scholarships. American University has a lot of scholarships. We can cover that as well. Okay, I don't know if you realized, but there was a guy, he stopped me and asked me for money. 
an interesting fact about dubai you cannot ask anyone for money because begging is a crime here exactly and there are few other crimes which will which you will find berserk so one of them is that you cannot keep clothes outside for drying the clothes we we indians have that habit right we keep our clothes on the railing that you cannot do not on your balcony apart from that one more crazy thing which i found in dubai was if your car has an accident you can get charged for it you have to report even a small bump you have in your car you have to report it there are many other things but let's talk about the scholarships okay so now i'm recording from inside the metro station because it's way too hot outside i cannot sit in the classrooms because it's already way too late and the university is closed now but i had to talk about the scholarships to wrap up this video so let me quickly talk about the scholarships okay so first of all for graduate students we have something called as sheikh al maktoum scholarship h h sheikh al maktoum scholarship what are the things that you require in this scholarship for the selection criteria you need 3.5 in your undergraduate degree as a gpa it's open for all nationalities you would require your gmat and gre score also your gpa undergraduate gpa work experience if you have any statement of purpose graduate reference letters or letter of recommendations for undergraduates there is a scholarship called h h sheik maktoum scholarship wait the full name is h h sheik mohammed bin rashid al maktoum scholarship if you have 90% in your undergraduate as an aggregate so in your five subjects if you have 90% or above you will be getting a scholarship but you would also need to show your financial independence financial dependence which means that you require funds and how do you prove that either you have an income certificate or you can show your itrs and say that these are my funds i do not have the funds to study so please sponsor me please give me a scholarship it is open for all nationalities open for undergraduate programs the deadline is this month only 27th is the date of deadline so make sure to apply for it this was entirely about american university of dubai dubai do let me know if there is anything else you would want me to cover about this university or any other university of dubai this was a part of our top 5 universities in dubai we have already covered canadian university today we covered american university next we are planning to cover dubai international university and there are many other universities that we'll be planning to cover make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel so that uh, i actually love that i'm actually recording these videos out there in 40 degree celsius so yeah please do that hit the bell icon thank you